Hi, Prabhu here. Today we will see about how to model a complex shape in Maya 2017 part 10. Stay tuned. Before that, if you won't subscribe to this YouTube channel, click on this red color subscribe button to subscribe this YouTube channel. We post weekly free videos about Maya 2017, Arnold, modeling, texturing and lighting. So if you won't subscribe, click this red color subscribe button and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Okay, in this part we made for our subscriber request, he sent me this reference image to model this complex details on water bottle. So open Maya. Okay, before we draw a complex shape in polygons, we need some reference object using CV curve tool. Go to front view and go to create panel, curve tools and choose CV curve tool option box. Here I need to choose three QB and close the settings. First of all, you need to draw a rough model of our bottle. If you want to draw and straight shape, use shift and click to draw and straight line. And press enter to end the shape. If you have any trouble, right click and choose control vertex and Select the control vertex and adjust to get the perfect shape. Now right click and choose object mode, go to perspective. In the object selected, go to surface and choose revolve option box. I will go to edit, reset settings and choose revolving Y and also view subdivision segments to A and view nerves and click revolve. Now you got the basic shape of our model. So see here our object is in black color. So I want to reverse the lighting. So go to lighting and turn off this two side lighting option. It will be normally turn on so that means you cannot able to see our lighting is reverse or not. Go to lighting and turn off this two side lighting. So that means you will able to see our object is reversed. So select this object, go to surface and choose reverse direction. So now our lighting is perfect. Go to front view. So select this object and move a little bit in Y. So see here our curve is still present. So select this object, go to edit, delete by type and choose history so our history will be gone go to window and choose outliner select the curve and press delete in keyboard so that means our curve will be gone now i need to add this object in separate layer so select this object and click on this create new layer so that means our object will be added to this layer now press 4 in keyboard so that means you able to see our wireframe mode. Now go to create panel polygon primitives, disable the interactive creation. That means when we click on poly cylinder, it will automatically create it in center of grid. Press R and scale B until you reach this edge corner. And press W, I want to move in Y and press R and scale in Y. So like this. Now go to perspective. Now this is our reference object. Now I want to hide this layer. 
So click on this visibility button to turn off the, our layer. Press 5 in keyboard. So now go to poly cylinder 1 and give subdivision axis to 52. So the subdivision axis to 52 for this object to make this complex shape over here. So I will give subdivision axis to 52. Right click and choose vertex. So select this vertex and shift select the bottom vertex. Press Ctrl F11 in keyboard. So that means our vertex will be convert as a face. Now press delete in keyboard. Now go to front view. Press 4 in keyboard. You need to draw the shape using multi cut tool in the object selector. Shift right click and choose multi cut tool. You need to draw exactly from center to draw the shape like this. So I will draw like this. So if you want to go to perspective, you will able to see it clearly. Use backspace to undo. Press 5 in keyboard to see our shade and mode. So refer our reference image to draw the shape. right click to end up the shape so press w and right click and choose vertex so if you have any troubles use vertex and adjust the shape right click and choose object mode so now i want to mirror on opposite side go to front view right click and choose face mode so select the space and press delete in keyboard right click and choose object mode when the object selected go to mesh and choose mirror so in this case i want to mirror in x and change the direction to plus to x direction and direction to plus right click and choose vertex mode so i will select the center vertex and press w i want to move in y so I want to select the entire vertex over here. I want to move in Y to even up the shape gap between top and bottom region. Now right click and choose object mode. Okay, I want to adjust little bit on bottom side using vertex mode. Now select this face, go to perspective, so select this face and shift double click on this face. So that means it will select the entire loop So and also this face. Shift right click and choose extrude face. Click on the scale icon and scale down. And shift right click and choose extrude face. I want to move in inside and click on the scale icon scale in make so like this now here we have triangle so that means you need to add one more edge loop over here so that means you got one two three four edge so our triangle will be gone and press w when the edge is selected i want to move in z now right click and choose object mode. You need to add two more edge loop over here. Before that I want to mirror on opposite side because the shape also in back side. So go to top view, right click and choose face mode. So select this face over here. 
and press delete right click and choose object mode when the object selected press ctrl d to duplicate and give rotate y to 180 like this so select this both object and shift right click and choose combine right click and choose vertex so select this vertex and choose merge vertex so do same thing over here now go to perspective right click and choose object mode so see here here we have in gowns 1 2 3 4 and 5 edge you need to clear up manually so go to insert edge loop you need to add edge loop over here right click and choose object mode and also use multi cut tool to join the shape and right click so do same thing on back side add insert edge loop and also multi cut tool and right click now you need to add and two edge loops on top and bottom go to insert edge loop add edge loop over here and also here so if you want to adjust this vertex to make it smooth so adjust this both vertex right click and choose object mode now press 3 in keyboard to smooth our object now we got this uh, complex details as we see in our reference image now we need to make a full shape so turn on this uh, layer 1 visibility so that means you got that reference image go to front view and press 4 in keyboard double click on this edge I want to move a little bit in Y and press 1 in keyboard to leave our normal mode shift right click and choose extrude you need to trace that object so extrude and move in Y and press R and scale down shift right click and choose extrude and press W I want to move in Y and press R and scale down you just trace out that reference object shift right click extrude I want to move in Y and press R and scale like this shift right click and choose extrude and press W and scale like this shift right click and choose extrude and press W I want to move in Y and press R and scale like this okay so now I got shape like this you also do same thing on bottom side double click on this edge shift right click and choose extrude and press W and move in Y and press R and scale in mid shift right click and choose extrude and move in Y shift right click and choose extrude and press W and move in Y and press R and scale in mid shift right click and choose extrude edge and press W move in Y and press R and scale like this 
do same thing press over and scale down go to perspective so right click and choose object mode and I will press 5 in keyboard now I hide the reference object click this vis visibility to turn off now double click on this bottom edge shift right click and choose extrude edge and press R and scale down shift right click and choose extrude edge and press W press R and scale down when the edge is selected press ctrl F11 in keyboard that means sorry control f9 in keyboard that means the edge will be converted as a vertex shift right click and choose merge vertex and choose merge vertex to center right click and choose object mode so now we got the entire shape and select this object and press 3 in keyboard so now you got the perfect shape with perfect topology as we seen in this reference image so this is the way to model this complex shape so we will use nodes and polygon to achieve the entire model if you like this video give thumbs up button on youtube below this video if you have any suggestion about this video please comment below the comment box so i hope you like it i see you on next project Click subscribe button to subscribe our YouTube channel. We always need your support to create high quality content further. So please subscribe. Click here to also watch the tutorial of how to model a complex shape in Maya 2017 part 9.